Welcome back, Bright Minds. I'm Kristen. And I'm Megan. And today we are going to be making maracas. Based on the story, Our Packers for Maracas by Matt Cosgrove. So this is a fun early childhood and primary activity that can be incorporated into design and technology and music. It's very easy and very quick to do. Teachers, don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to see how exactly we've linked this activity to the Australian curriculum. Let's get started. The very first step to making your maracas is by getting a plate and folding it in half. This is why it's very important to get a paper plate as opposed to a plastic plate because these are very flexible and they're a lot easier to fold than plastic. Once you've folded your paper plate like this, we can open it back up and start decorating it. Now that your cute little maraca designs are complete, we're going to start by stapling or sticky taping the edges of a quarter of your plate. So just half of that folded side. The reason why we're stapling and taping only half of our plate so far is so we have enough room at the top to fill in our maraca with our filling. The best part about this craft is that you can use any filling inside your maraca as you like. You can use little dried up peas, you can use some seeds or some lentils, anything you wish. In my maraca, I'm going to put some rice. And in mine, I'm going to be putting a mixture of some barley seeds and lentils. Once you've got your filling in, it can be rice, your lentils, your peas, it's time to stick up or staple the rest of your maraca don't want any of the filling coming out so make sure you're not leaving any gaps. There you are Bright Minds, you've made your own maraca. Now you can shimmy, wiggle, groove and move with your new maracas. Thank you for watching today's video on how to make your very own maracas. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give us a like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all our new videos. And if you make this in your own classroom or at home, don't forget to tag us on a picture on Instagram at Bright Minds Teaching. We'd love to see your creations. Until, Until next time, see you soon, Bright Minds. Bright Minds.